perfect. This is your first time here. Welcome to Messy World. You love Messy and we're here to bring it. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, y'all. I know it's been a minute, but I'm back in action. And so I want to hit you with this quick video. All right. So I'm pretty sure you are all caught up with all the drama that has been going on with basketball wives. All right. So yes, there's a lot of drama going on. There is a feud going on between Evelyn Lozada and her castmate, her basketball wives co-star Ojo. Chindindu, which goes by the name of OG. All right, so yes, OG called her out and basically said that, you know, Evelyn is a racist, okay? She came to Costa Rica with cornrows in her hair. She says, I have sat at dinner tables hearing her use the N word left and right, and it's disgusting, all right? So she basically went in on Lazada. She also said that Chad wants to be with the black woman and claimed that, you know, Evelyn Lazada is not black. She said, You can gel your hair down as much as you want you can say in this and in that but you're not black okay and so basically you know receipts have been spread out on social media of you know Evelyn reaching out to Chad Ochocinco which is her ex you know to confirm if he had any past dealings with OG all right and so the receipts have been released all right and so you can see those receipts here um and so basically you know uh, Evelyn has been accused of a racist all right and so you know people have been going back and forth discussing this and talking about this some coming to the defense of Evelyn and others not so much well one of the people who are coming to her defense are uh, Nene Leakes and so yes Nene Leakes is coming to the defense of Evelyn Lozada and basically Jason Lee of Hollywood unlock had a podcast where he was basically sharing his thoughts on the basketball wives drama between og and Evelyn lazada he had a lot to say he had a mouthful so go ahead and listen to what he had to say and his thoughts about the whole entire situation i have called all of my ignite weaponry into the situation because it's about to go down this post is going to ignite conversation. Somebody somewhere is going to say, you know what? Somebody need to stop letting Jason log into Instagram because all he do is get shit started. I promise you I'll be doing the Lord's work. I am doing all of the Lord's work by bringing this to your attention. We are all standing here together for this issue tonight. OG Evelyn Lozada. Y'all know we just had Evelyn on the show. Everybody's up in arms with Evelyn because OG is claiming that she's racist. Now I've done my research and I take pride in saying that I'm the king of tea and that I'm the king of receipts. And I've done my deep, my research. I've asked my team to look high and look low. And I've looked in every place I could look and I still can't find where Evelyn has done something racist. Yet you guys have unleashed this cancel culture on the girl trying to say that she's a racist because OG said she's a racist. Who the fuck is OG? I'm not trying to be shady. I swear to God I'm not. I'm just asking because I don't know, because I just know so many people, and I've been around for such a long time, that I just don't know what an OG is. I know an OG is an old gangster, and I don't know that that's a part of the conversation. But anyway, I digress. It's not about OG. This is about the fact that I'm watching women tear down another woman of color who has black children claiming that she's a racist and a colorist. I'm going to tell you what's sad, and it's our people that be using that colorist shit against each other. Latinos and other people of the brown community, although they may not have had the black experience, have had the black experience. The experience of being treated like a second class citizen. The experience of being looked at when you walk in the store like you're stealing. The, the, the experience of being judged and being treated secondary to white people. Yet black folks, we forget that. We forget that we need Mexicans in our country. We forget that people who are Puerto Rican or Dominican or from another third world country or another country like a Jamaica or Africa are not treated the same as white folks. Yet we are the main ones trying to tear them down whenever we get a chance. Now, all of y'all on here on Instagram, y'all know who Evelyn Lozada is. Whether you like her or love her, you wouldn't watch Basketball Wives if she wasn't on the motherfucking show. So some girl comes out of nowhere and in a show that's produced and because she now has created the narrative that she believes Evelyn Lozada is a racist, but because she wore braids, 
What, Puerto Ricans and Dominicans in New York don't wear braids? I just came from New York. You mean to tell me that there ain't Spanish people wearing braids? You mean that white rapper Riff Raff who was wearing braids didn't get called out for colorism? Or what about Bo Derek who was running down the beach back in the 80s? She wasn't, she wasn't, that wasn't uh, 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 taking our, 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 our heritage or taking something from our community. Y'all need to stop it or show me the receipts. We need EEOTs, equal, oper e equal, wait, is that it? Oh, e equal opportunity trollers, EOTs. That's what we need. We need EOTs, people who equal opportunity troll. Because the same person that's claiming, claiming colorism is the same person that was weaponizing domestic violence and attacking Evelyn about her past with a man who beat her ass. Now, I just need to understand something. Have we not become a society? Have we not? Are we not a society of facts? Are we not a society of what matters? Have we become a society of bandwagoning and following the leader? Have we given up our leadership and our ability to be leaders and think for ourselves, to follow trends? Is that what we doing? Because I ain't doing it. And you know what? I'm proud to be black. I wouldn't want to wake up tomorrow and be anything other than a black man in America. Because you know what? That struggle that I went through with black people treating me like shit because I wasn't dark enough or because I wasn't all the way black or had different type of hair or... Oh, that's my hair, by the way. That's my real hair. Or from white people who thought I wasn't nothing but a nigga and at 15 accused me of stealing when I wasn't stealing. All of that experience has led me to this opinion. Black people, stop crying wolf. Stop calling colorism every single time something don't smell exactly the way that you smell it. Because all of our experiences are different. And although we need to be uh, uh, understanding and compassionate and empathetic with what everybody experiences in life everything ain't racism and everything ain't colorism you mean to tell me that evelyn lazada who was accused of calling this girl a monkey which she did and she posted an emoji on a post who birthed a black son evelyn got a black son a black daughter you mean to tell me that she's racist all of a sudden you can't be that stupid now, this ain't about sticking up for Evelyn, because I don't know Evelyn like that. She's been on my show. I like her. I've been a fan of her on the show, but I've been following her and watching what she does and how she moves. And I'm going to tell you right now, she's highly motherfucking entertaining. But I don't know OG, and I was trained as a kid not to follow strangers. And I'm not going to follow this stranger down the reckless road of colorism. Now, you tell me if I'm missing something. Please drop the receipts below. And please, OG, you are more than welcome to come on my show. And darling, if you do, I need you to explain to me with facts. Because I will not tolerate anybody being victim of the bullshit. Sound off. All right. So you heard what Jason Lee had to say. Now, whether you agree with his thoughts or not, that is up to you. But Nene Leaks, she laid her comment in the comment section on his ig saying speak okay and she was basically in defense of evelyn all right in support of the idea that evelyn could not possibly be prejudiced against darker skinned women because she is a woman of color herself and also probably because evelyn has you know children as jason lee said children who are black all right and so of course there are going to be people who have you know passionate feelings about this topic because this is a huge topic in the black community colorism all right and this is something that many women deal with all right the feud between light-skinned black women and dark-skinned black women all right and so nini's fan responded saying you got to be one of the dumbest dark-skinned person on here i know good and well you have experienced colorism before and you agreeing with this idiot just to fit in girl bye all right so you know one of nini's fans not feeling her agreeing with jason lee you know basically want to divide between dark skin and light skin. and so you know you can see comments that had that same sentiment under jason lee's post okay all right so you know taking a look at some of the comment all right so somebody said now i understand why people hate you so much a lot of y'all defending og but ain't coming with any facts proving that evelyn is a racist another commenter said they are going to hate you they are going to have you on the cancel culture next jason mostly black people support you jason 
Yeah, you're syndicated now, but you still need the audience and endorsers to keep you going. Eventually, people will get fed up. I'm a fan of your show as well. Granted, you can side with Evelyn, but some of your statements of colorism were as if you were downplaying it being factual and pinning minorities against each other. We deal with too much in America as it is to let this be the nearest. Somebody said, where were you when she used a monkey emoji for OG? Where were you or are you blind? Really? All right. So you can see that comment got a lot of likes. All right. And um, there's some other comments, you know. Somebody says, that was not the only reason Evelyn has been a bully from the gate. She met her match and is trying to play the victim. We sided with OG because it felt good to see the bully get what the F she's been given. All right, so I don't want to make this video too long, but you get the gist. All right, so let us know what you think about this. How do you guys feel about Nene sticking up for Evelyn, basically siding with her that she is not a racist? All right, are you one of the people who, um, you know, are not feeling that? You think that Evelyn, there is some, you know, truth to Evelyn being a racist? Uh, let us know what you think. Leave your comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more messy entertainment.